just throughout the scan near the ancient area, expecting that perhaps the Batrider was going to try and come in from the side, but it's full wrap around behind bottom lane, where they're going to be able to catch out Kazu to start with, slowing him down with a sticky napalm. Arrow's going to be next. He's going to be the target of the lasso. Kazu is going to be run down a little bit further, but Sindri managed to come in in time with the Shallow Grave. Unfortunately, that TP is going to be cancelled, and Kazu is most certainly dead, but they did manage to get out with Arrow. First blood goes down, quick turnaround kill as Twan ends up going down to the right clicks of the two supports, but unfortunately, now no diggity have no response, as Newbie are going to dive deep into the Tier 1 tower, with Hal leading the way with the help of Kaka's movements speed. Yapsar managed to get a double stun. Goes for the right click on Kaka. Knows he can't really do much there and just tries to buy a little bit more time it's while Moo work. chases down Cinderin. Has all the sticky napalm stacks in the world, but he's going to be slowed down by Era just in time. Maybe Moo? He can't right click yet. Blast is about to fade and now Cinderin is going to fall as the Firefly is able to clean him up. Era no longer having the rage is still going to stay behind Moo though hoping to be able to catch him out still. But that's not the case. The Juggernaut Healing Ward keeps both the core and the support alive, while Hal will take the Tier 1 tower. Yeah, and they push out this bottom lane, which is going to be pretty huge for them. Unfortunately, they weren't able to kill Era at bottom. He was just half an inch away from being able to grab the... Because of the aggressive smoke rotation through. I'm sure no diggity are going to be able to deal with him now. Might not be Cinderin who can counter ward it, though. He's in some serious trouble. Scattered out by Moo and Kaka. He's only got the Shallow Grave to buy himself time, but doesn't have the TP to be able to get out really quickly. And they're probably going to pick up Kezu here. If not, they're going to make their way into mid. They actually no, see they quite far. They're going to play for this yeah. ward. And they didn't go for the D ward despite knowing that there was definitely a ward up there. Yeah, now they're going to be caught out because of it. Free kill on Koifa. Era trying to run in, see if he can get some sort of turnaround kill, but. Everyone from Newbie is more than healthy enough. Now they just need the full retreat. How? Not actually teeping out. They're, oh, they're relocating gonna in with Kaka and KP. They're going to fight this one out. Sable's going on to KP. They're going to identify Kaka first, but this does cost Kezu his life as I believe KP is going to be able to run him down. Shallgrave comes out the right time. Meanwhile, Era goes on to the Batrider who completed the TP out. KP has to dive in real deep in order to get that Kezu kill after the Shallgrave saved his life initially and is now going to go for a TP way himself. Newbie, meanwhile, Tuan and Hao battling it out with Yapsor, but it looks like Tuan is dead as uh, Hao parts way with his support. Oh, that's well worth it for them. They were able to get the kill on the Tinker. They slowed down the efficiency of the Beastmaster. That's back-to-back -back engagements that they've set up around there uh, that have been successful for them so far. But mm -hmm. And the other thing is they're probably not going to know, well, maybe they will now as Moo makes his initiation, but this ward that they placed with the previous smoke rotation around will spot out Kezu and allow Newbie to find yet another opportunity for a quick pickoff. Yeah, no boots of travel available on the Tinker either as Koikva can't really do much to help out, but Yapsor might just find the initiation yeah, on the Yeah, gets a long range or spike that will allow them to be able to get a support kill and turn around. Uh, Koifa will snap in when they were going for that fast push at the top lane, so they hardly get any damage on that tier 2. But they might still get a pick off nonetheless. They're going to lead here, trying to slow down Hao, and leading the charge. I'm not sure what kind of initiation that was. I'm sure there was, roar? yeah, I'm sure there was supposed to be some sort of wraparound, but now no diggity are going to be the ones caught. Overextending themselves, and Cinderin will be the freebie. Yeah, and what should have been this jug setting up? They want to kill Era. They probably can too. They've got way more than enough damage here. He's got the rage, but it might not matter as the lasso goes down. How is able to pop the manta, and they just right-click Era to death. Makes the correct move. Tries to go for Tron at that point. No point in running. Sound of. Era hopping into the Absor, and it looks like they finally do want to take this fight. They're saying we're getting out farms no matter what. Yeah. Maybe they can get the initiation onto this, this juggernaut. This is the sort of corner that Newbie have managed to back No Diggity into. That they're getting anxious, they know they have to take a fight, but it might not be the best fight. Let's, oh, what is practically a Ravage coming out from Yapsor as he managed to stun three. Still though, the Unexplant is able to go out, well. Yapsor's gonna die because of it. Now Air is being dragged away by the Lasso. What started off so good is gonna end so badly for No Diggity as they're just falling apart. All they've got is the March of Machines, but it doesn't do anything against all the sustained of Newbie. Look at them. Healthy as a lark. Yeah, they've got so many different team fight items. KP has a hype of inside Crimson Guard. Newbie. May find something small here. It's just the two supports. I think they're setting up behind the the tinker essentially. Yeah. It's gonna be boots are traveling in, but now they see KP. They realize, oh no, this is terrible, and they're gonna lose Cinderin and probably you lose Yapsor as well. Mu oh, just getting kited around right now. But yeah. Mu dodged the earth spike, backed himself up, then got some more sticky napalm. There it is, the guaranteed kill on two right outside the Roshan pit. 
as well as now the stolen shadow wave from Chuan. Keep being the two cores of Newbie, very much healthy. They've taken a melee rax, make it a ranged rax as well. I mean, Newbie just reset, go for bottom. If you're dig, you kind of have to take this fight. It sucks, but there's no real other options. Absolutely nothing stopping Newbie. Pops the spin, how? Maybe a little bit early. The roar is going to come out. They're going on KP. They're actually going to be able to burn through some of his mana here, but now the Primal Roar turn around as Tron throws that on the Yapsoid. He tries to make his initiation, but absolutely nothing goes off quite but dies in the background as how jumps in with the Omni Slash. And what was seemingly an, an inevitable GG call finally comes out from no diggity is Newbie. The farming efficiency with how many jumps.